Hi, so today I nipped to the most expensive supermarket in Britain. I went to Waitrose and I wanted to see their prices and see what they had. So I think I got some good deals here. I wanted to show you the few things that I picked up and then I can kind of like compare to Marks and Spencers, Lidl, Tesco, that kind of thing. This bag of pasta was £1.90, 500 grams, and it looks a decent pasta as well. So I thought that was a really good price, £1.90. And then these tortilla chips, we buy these at various different places and they range in price as well. But this bag here was a £1.10, which again, I didn't think was too bad. Um, it was the cheapest one you could buy there. There was more expensive ones, but we didn't mind like branded um, items. So £1.10 for tortilla chips. And then I got some milk as well. I was desperate for milk. I went in for the green top. I could only find the white top. Um, so they've changed the top of their lids there, which I thought was a diff like a, a bit weird because I was really confused. <laughs> um, but we like the semi-skinned milk. So the milk was more expensive than anywhere I've brought it before. Um, we got a four pint milk and it was £1.50. So that is the most expensive place for milk in my experience. And then I found a steal of a deal with these Kellogg Frosties. A big one one kilogram. Now, Hubby's off, off for the next few weeks, like eating at home. Um, so he's going to be eating cereal more and lunch stuff. And he loves Kellogg's Frosties, specifically Kellogg's Frosties. So I was on the lookout for a good deal. And oh my goodness, did I get this good deal. So one kilogram, a massive box of Kellogg's Frosties. They were on promotion. This is not the standard price that they um, like stock them at. It is a promotion price. But I just thought it was really good. Um, um, so they cost me £3.50 and I thought that was a really good deal. So £3.50 for a big kilogram of Kellogg's Frosties. And then I also needed some um, pasta sauce. I didn't want to do a full shop there. I just wanted to get a few little items and compare. And the cereal I only picked up because it was on that really good offer. Um, but the pasta sauce, I wanted to compare this. This was £1.15 and it is really nice. It's very tasty. And I think that's a similar price, if not a little cheaper than Marks and Spencers. So I felt like I got a good deal on the pasta sauce i also got a really good deal on the tzatziki we buy this most of the most weeks from marks and spencers and it's one pound 80 at waitress it's one pound 60 so you're saving 20p there and then this mango gourmet greek style yogurt was one pound and 35 these are like two pound in tesco i think this was a promotion offer that they had on so i don't think it'll be there every week but i had to get it for that price i love that mango yogurt especially it's such a cheap price so I picked up that as well and it's a massive pot it's, it's huge um I also got some pasta so we like this tortellini now this I thought was on par with most supermarkets so it's £1.80 for a packet you can usually get them like two for £3.50 so I didn't think I got a massive deal here but I really like that the packet size was a little bigger than the Marks and Spencers one so this is a cheese and smoked ham tortellini and then I also got the spinach and ricotta tortellini and they're 300 grams some of the other pasta we buy are 250 grams for for around the same price so 300 grams for £1.80 that is a dinner with a bit of sauce and maybe a flatbread or something that is a good to go dinner for us so I thought that was a, a fairly average price uh, for a dinner meal especially and then I got a French baguette stick <laughs> and it broke in half <laughs> Um, so I was going to show you the whole stick, but it snapped uh, on the way back in the car. And yeah, that's not, uh, it's, it's broken. But anyway, it was £1.10, which is on par for most bakery sticks. I don't, I didn't save any money by getting that there. But I also wanted to show you their little magazine. So if you've got a Waitrose card, um, these are free. If not, they are £3. So they've got a summer foods one. They've got tons of recipes. They've got amazing little um, inspiration ideas that you can copy. Um, I got the mango and... Um, meringue recipe from in here and the watermelon salad as well and then also they've got a drinks one so they talk about like mocktails or cocktails and then they show you different products that you can like pair with your drinks so really good little magazines to have but I would never pay three pound 
per magazine. I think that's extortionate. So if you've got a waitress card, you can get them for free. You just have to scan on the same at the till and then you just get them for free. So we got a waitress card, we downloaded one at the till and then we got those two items for free. And then the last thing I picked up, which I thought was an amazing deal, this whole chicken with legs, wings, everything, a full chicken was £4.50. They, they had a 25% off on chicken that day, that spe like this specific full chicken. You just roast it in a bag. It's with the stock. And a £4.50, I thought that was a really good deal. So my experience of Waitrose, the prices are shocking. Some, some of the prices, really expensive. But when I went round and had a good look at the promotion items and the sale items, you can get really good deals. I won't shop there weekly. I sometimes pop in every now and then, but I don't don't shop there weekly but I was really impressed with the deals that we found this time and yeah I feel like I've saved quite a bit of money I'll be able to tick these off my shopping list now I'll obviously I'm not going to need chicken because I can roast this and have it for two or three meals and £4.50 you're just not going to get cheaper chicken and even like Lidl and Aldi don't sell four chickens this size at £4.50 so I was really impressed with the deals and the promotions they had an average food shop there would cost me you know a bank loan I wouldn't be able to go and do it but some of the items some of the bargains they had I thought they were really good so yeah that is what I got at Waitrose I hope that you enjoyed seeing the things that I brought and the prices that they had uh, the stuff for sale for thanks for watching take care enjoy the rest of your evening whatever you're up to and I will see you on the next video bye